So in this lecture, I'm going to show you on how to insert your doors and windows. So before you insert your doors and windows, this time well, we are not going to work on the ground floor again. You left click twice and move to the entry floor. This way you insert your doors and windows. So our design showed that we have a door here, double door. So under architecture, you left click on door. Then you load your materials. So when you come to load here, you see a door here. You left click, first one start. And use your down key. You know you have front, you have up, down, left, and right keys. So those down keys, the ones that add screen brightness when you press second function, and the one that adds screen brightness. Yes. So you you now use use you without creating second function. You left click on one of these first and then begin to use your down key to select the, the door that you want. Let's say I want to go with this door. So I'll now click open. So I'll now insert it at the position that I want it to stand good. So I'll, I can left click it and then use your left key to shift it to a position that you really want. So for now, we we'll leave it there. Then we we'll click on selecting it. We will we'll click on type properties. So we we'll now open this environment here. We we'll now open this environment. Then we can when we open this environment. If you are going to have different of these doors at different different places, it's always wise to duplicate. So you left click on duplicate. Then width width of door. Let's say we are going to use 1200 as a width, then the height we give it 2100. We'll click on OK. So let's put it in 3D and see. Our door is now there. Good. So let's go back to entry floor. Let's click twice. Okay, so let's see. We have another door to the bedroom, which is supposed to be 900, the kitchen, okay, so let's do that. We'll come, click on door, we'll load again, come to doors, then let's start here and start shifting down. Well, let's say you want to use that, we'll click on open. Click there, left click properties, you duplicate that. Let's say the height is 2100 and the width is 900. Good, let's shift it. Yeah, we now have that. So we can select this one and create similar, similar of 900 mm doors. So we want the door here. We want another 900 mm door to this master's bedroom. So that other bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. So let's. Okay. Chris similar. The outside one here too should also be 900. Alright. So you have that. So in three D, that's what we we'll have there. So we still have six, seven, four hundred and fifty doors. Let's create similar to this toilet. It's nine hundred for now. So we select, we open here, we duplicate seven fifty. 
let's shift it this side. Okay, so let's create this opening. We did profile. We forgot to create that opening. Seven fifty. Not six hundred. Four fifty. This is what we have here. We'll finish. We're running one door here. So we'll create similar of this door. Let's say we drop it there. For this. Oh, at the entry level. So now we'll start creating windows. For window. Click on window, then you load properties. Let's say we want to make use of this window. Click on open. Let's say we have a window there. We need. Mm, Have another window here. We have another window here. But first, let's edit. Let's delete these two first. So let's say this window here. Come here. We we'll duplicate it. We we'll say the height. Okay. We we'll give it the height of one thousand two hundred and the width of one thousand five hundred. Good. Let's create similar. This will have a window here, and we'll have another window somewhere here of, of the similar height. Here is 450, and here too is 450. We can change this. Yeah. So we'll have something like that. So create similar. So let's say the master's bedroom also has a window there. Also has a window here. And this bedroom also has a window here. Also has a window there. And the kitchen here. We can also have a similar window but different height. We can leave the width to be one two one five. But the height nine hundred. The smaller height helps you to put sink there. So that's it. So now we still need another we create similar of this window. 
I'll put on dining section here. We can select this one, duplicate, and let's say the width is 2200. Good. You can select this one, create similar. If it's big, that is the taller window. Now we did it. Duplicate it. Uh, 600 by 600. So now create similar. Probably this store was also put 600 by 600 window on the store. And this here too, put 600 by 600 windows. So let's put it in 3D and see what we've been doing. So you can see it. How the challenge of these small windows having C height. Let's say let's say you move a C height to 1500. Okay, you refuse to change, but you can always move it upward. But for now, I will leave it down, I'll, I'll rectify that later. We will rectify it in our next lecture, but in this lecture. This, you know, so in our next lecture now we learn how to to create parapet like cornish roof cornish and roofing that is what we learn in our next lecture